Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around uh, January 18th. So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I have a friend, Mystic Jen, who is going to be doing an introduction to Len Lenormand. Uh, class okay on January 25th via zoom at night if you are interested in that um, I'm trying to get it to come up on my phone so it's an introduction to Lenormand January 25th 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time you sign up on her website it's only $50 it's a live zoom class where everybody will be able to talk together I will put the link to that the information at the end of this video so let's get started what do we have for a message today? Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands is happiness. It's celebrating. It's joy. It's a, it's being in a very good place, building a strong foundation. So whatever this is, it's extremely happy, joyous. It's 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 a joyous time. So the day starts out in, on a happy note. Put it that way. The Four of Wands is, you know. Uh, extreme happiness. We could have a relationship that is about to be more committed. Uh, this is about commitment. It's about foundations. It's about uh, celebrating, you know, so there could be a celebration on this day or it could just be a really, you know, happy day. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Now that this is the end of suffering because it's a completion. It's in the past. So we have the end of suffering. Somebody ha may have reached rock bottom. They may have been in some sort of pain, you know, um, looks like we have somebody that has been betrayed. They've reached rock bottom. They've been suffering, but this is the end of suffering. This is the end of suffering. Eight of wands reversed. Queen of swords. Now the queen of swords has some sort of truth, has some sort of information, She's full of information. She speaks clearly. She says what she has to say. Um, I think somebody has been blocking communication. They may not have been saying something, but maybe they're going to say something right now. And whatever it is that they're going to say is very factual. It's very truthful. Um, there's been some sort of blockage, though. It may not be good news. So it starts out on a happy note. Because this is Four of Wands, it's happiness. But, you know, this is doesn't, I mean, the Eight of Wands in reverse may not be good news. You know, and if it's coming from the Queen of Swords, you know, the Queen of Swords says what she has to say. You know, and it is what it is. And it is what it is. There's no sugar coating here. So, I mean, we, we, we definitely have an individual that is about to say something that... Um, they haven't, but they've been reluctant to say as of yet, but here it comes. Okay. Here it comes. I don't feel like it's the best news. I do feel like the day starts out good, but I think it could change and I think it could change very fast. I'm just being honest with you. Um, now the 10 of swords is the death of a situation. This is a breakdown. It's a mental or physical collapse. It's giving up. It's suffering. It's over. This is uh, defeated. You know, somebody has reached a point where, you know, something needs to end. They need to, end. something needs to end. That's where they, that's where they are, they're at right now or where they've been. They've been in a place of suffering and they've been betrayed. They, maybe they've been betrayed by somebody that they've been committed, committed to. I don't know if there's been some messages going back and forth that have been hidden and perhaps they get revealed. You know, if, there, if somebody has been messaging somebody, you know, and they're in a commitment now, you know, those messages could get revealed and it could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. You know, if there's been some sort of hidden messages, you know, that could certainly be the case. Um, we could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, whoever this person is, they speak very fluently and, you know, there's no, there's nothing to be held back. So this person's going to say something very, very factual and it may, 
it may, you know, cause an ending of some sort because this is an ending, ending of a commitment. And, and it's interesting because the day starts out on a happy note, but I, it feels like there's some bad news that is coming. Okay. With the eight of sword, eight of wands reversed. Um, devil. Now the devil is toxic, unhealthy behavior, codependency greed materialism all is not as it seems definitely been hiding something because if you think about the shadow the truth isn't it's not real something isn't real and the truth has been hidden i do feel like there's some jealousy issues here as well um we may have somebody here that is about to uh stop somebody from uh, doing something I don't know what it is the devil is a toxic unhealthy situation and there could be some anger that comes about we may have somebody that gets angry when this truth comes out or when these messages get revealed you know because there's messages here um, for sure The lovers reverse. Now that that's separation, the end of a contract of some sort. There could be a conflict. There's disharmony. Somebody may have made a poor choice. They made a poor choice to get themselves involved with with another contract, or they may have signed a contract with somebody, or they whatever that they shouldn't have. Maybe it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Maybe there was lust involved, or they got themselves tempted and they couldn't stop themselves from going in that direction or stop themselves from communicating or whatever. I feel like somebody's about to get caught. They're, they did something. I feel like they, it's almost like they cheated on a commitment. And I don't know what this commitment is, but it feels like this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. It really is. Um, I think that there is going to be some anger. I think that somebody's going to get angry um, because they hear something. They, they hear some sort of news that you know, uh, about a partnership that they were not expecting to hear. They weren't expecting it. I think this is unexpected news. I feel like somebody went down a path that they shouldn't have went down when they were already in a commitment, you know, and there's a such thing as call, called, um, as emotional cheating. It doesn't, doesn't have to involve sex, but when you give yourself intimately to another person, you know, when you're communicating with another person, you know, you are connecting with that person. And if they are in a commitment, it's called emotional cheating. So I'm not sure what is, I don't know why I had to tell you that, but I did. So I feel like this is, um, the end of a commitment. I do. It's the end of a of a situation uh, and I think it's because somebody has made a poor decision I feel like somebody has made a poor choice to uh, go back and forth with uh, another person and here comes the truth the truth is about to come out I mean the Queen of Swords is an investigator somebody that investigates you know that observes is very very intelligent is uh, very smart and you can't pass nothing by the queen of swords nothing this person is an investigator you know investigates everything so i think we have somebody that has investigated some messages or something like that or some communication and i think that they are about to speak about what they have read or what they have heard or what they've read by what they've read um and i think that it's it's gonna it's gonna be the straw that breaks the camel's back Put it that way. Um, the lover's card in reverse is a separation of some sort. There's a conflict. There's a disconnection or a detachment. I feel like we have uh, relationship issues here. I, I do. I feel like, and I feel like we have somebody here that you know has been hiding something. They may have been hiding messages or, or hiding communication with another person. You know, uh, there's definitely been a betrayal of some sort. Nine of Cups. Now, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's a chance to have it all. Um, this is um, abundance. Now, this is somebody that is very pleased. You know, they're very, very pleased. Um, they're going to be very satisfied with with what they find somebody somebody maybe may have uh, wanted to have their cake and eat it, too. You know, I'm just saying, I mean, the Nine of Cups is somebody who wants to have it all, you know. Um, what 
what is this nine of cups that is that's a i feel like we have somebody here that is overindulged i think that we have somebody here and this is ego and this is ego as well i feel like we have somebody here that has overindulged and i feel like they you know they may have thought they could get away with it or something but they can't they can't get away with it it's interesting this is all about pleasure it's about pleasure i think that somebody was was getting some sort of pleasure out of i don't know communicating with somebody or i don't know if they even they may have even you know you know uh, had sex with somebody else you know what I mean there could be some adultery here or something like that and I feel like they're I feel like they're dealing with somebody who is finding out they're finding out about this uh, get together that's a get together I think there's been a get together it is that's a get together I feel like there's been some sort of get together and somebody made a mistake. I feel like somebody has made a mistake and now they're getting caught. Huh. Oh my God, I, yeah, I do think there's been some deception. Seven of Swords, cheating deception lies somebody thought they could get away with it and it, and I'm not sure if there was sex or may, or, or some are not even positive that there was but there definitely was communication and, and probably some maybe that it could have led to that anyhow seven of swords is cheating lying betrayal deception and trying to get away with it so I do believe that somebody's about to get caught. They've, they've done something that they shouldn't have done. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. This is somebody that was, uh, you know, with the devil card, they had these desires that needed to be met, whether it was just to fulfill the ego. Maybe they just needed an ego boost. Sometimes just that communication with another person fulfills that ego boost. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I do feel like somebody has uh, went overboard. I feel like somebody has went overboard. They needed their their ego fed, you know, and they did something deceptive and hurt another person, and they're about to get caught. I mean, what more can I say? I mean, the Seven of Swords is somebody that is very slippery, very sneaky. To, is, is This is very risky behavior. So I do feel like this is somebody that has taken a risk. They have taken a risk, and I feel like I feel like they're about to get caught. I do feel like they're about to get caught. We may have somebody here that is sitting pretty. You know, they're sitting pretty. They think they got away with it. It's like, ha, 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 I got away with it. You know, no, you didn't get away with it because there is somebody here that has been investigating. They have been investigating, and the truth is about to come out. So if there's been some deception going on, the truth is about to come out. Okay? Somebody's been been very, 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 very sneaky. They have. And this is the end of a commitment. It is. This is the end of a commitment. It is. This is a separation. This is detaching out of self-love. Because Nine of Cups is about self-love. And so isn't the lovers reversed. So somebody's going to be detaching from a partnership or a union out of self-love because... You know, they see very, very clearly that they have been deceived by another person. And they see it in some sort of messages. The messages come through, you know, or they see the messages or something. It has to do with messages. And this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. We have somebody here that has been, you know, hiding the facts. You know, they've been able to hide it, but not anymore. I feel like there's been some infidelity here. Some sort of deception. So anyway, what is it, the 18th? I also feel like there's an enemy. There's an enemy in the camp. And that's for somebody else. There's an enemy that is going to betray you. 
So you may be, you may not even see it. You may be happy and enjoying your day, you know, and you have an enemy that is uh, telling some of your secrets or, or something like that. You may have an enemy here that is going to, uh, yeah, communicate something that, you know, you didn't want them to communicate. So that could be the case as well. I do feel like we have a very deceptive individual here. And there could have been some gossip. We could, we could have a gossip here with the Eight of Wands reversed. If somebody is is not trustworthy. And I feel like they are going to say something that uh, causes some sort of separation. It causes because there is a separation here. I think the day start, it starts out good. But it changes really, 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 really fast. Because there's there's a there's a liar here. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been hiding something. They've been keeping a secret, you know. Um, this is somebody that wants to beat the enemy. They want to beat the enemy. You know, they're the enemy, but they want to beat the enemy at their own game. So there's definitely going to be some sort of reveal. There's going to be a reveal on this day that that is probably uh, going to make whoever one person is going to be extremely happy with this reveal okay because there's obviously more than one person here because when you get the lovers cards there's a choice between two so there's one person that's going to be very much happy with this reveal but there's going to be another person that is going to hit the ground because it's going to be so painful so there's 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 pain but there's happiness and it's it's sad to look at it like that but that's that's what it is we definitely have an individual here that is about to uh, reveal some sort of information that is very, very challenging. It's not good news. It's not good news for a partnership or a union. It's not. We have a very egotistical individual, this one and this one, that is very sneaky very deceptive has been getting away with hurting people by the looks of things they're not going to be able to get away with it anymore something is about to happen this is somebody that acts without conscience and i feel like this person is going to be seen so they're going to get caught they're getting caught somebody is getting caught Somebody may have been working undercover as well. We could have somebody here that, because uh, I said investigator, and now I look at this and I think of undercover. We could have somebody that has been working undercover, and they're going to, you know, maybe maybe it's even uh, like spying, spying on messages. Somebody may have hired somebody to spy on messages or something like that, and they're and now the messages are going to be revealed. Here comes the truth. Here comes the facts. Here's the, what's the word for it? It's the evidence. Page of Cups. Yeah, this has to do with flirting. Somebody's been flirting or expressing their feelings with another person. They have. And they've been lying, perhaps, about their feelings. Because this is lying about feelings. So anyway, I feel like this day is about some sort of truth coming out. And it's about messages. Loving, flirting messages. Or something's been going on. Somebody was looking for like emotional fulfillment and they didn't care who they hurt. And I think they were in some sort of commitment or the other person, somebody was in a commitment. At least one of these people were. And here it comes, here comes, here comes the truth and here comes the, the wrath. <sighs> Hell hath 
no fury as the Queen of Swords scorned, okay? Do not scorn the Queen of Swords. You will pay should you scorn the Queen of Swords. She will rip you apart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I do feel like we have a woman scorned. Good luck. Damn camera. Won't zoom. I wouldn't mess with her. She has a weapon in her hand. Good luck. 